Hey, welcome back to another Action Guru episode, the One Man Gorkha Army. Yes. इसको देखते हैं 2010 का वीडियो है काफी रिकमेंड किया जा रहा है कि इसको आप जरूर देखें तो गोरखा रह जाएगा। The Stand of Sergeant Deep Prasad Pawn। हाँ। तो ये उनके बारे में आएगा इस। तो इनके वीडियो हम देखते हैं जल्दी से तो टाइम नहीं वेस्ट करते। Yes। देख। Start। Original link is in description। अच्छा। ये गोरखा अफगानिस्तान का ऑपरेशन है शायद। One man Quran, the stand up sergeant. The person. On the 17th of September 2010, a platoon from the 1st Battalion, the Royal Gurkha Rifles, was stationed at two patrol bases near the village of Rai in the north of Helmand Province. At some point during the day, the bulk of the platoon departed the bases to secure a key road to the east, with two small detachments remaining behind to garrison the outposts. Tasked with holding the southernmost patrol base were four Gurkhas. Among them, Sergeant Dibrasat Poon, who, in the evening of the 17th, was on sentry duty on the roof of the two-storey compound that was at the centre of the base. Man in his post for several hours, Sergeant Poon soon began to hear some noises materialising from the other side of the main gate, and, as he later recalled, I thought at first maybe it was a cow, but my suspicions soon built up, and I saw two Taliban digging to lay down an IED in front of our gate. Oh. Immediately, the sergeant called out for the two men to identify themselves, but instead of receiving a verbal response, bullets and RPGs began to hit the patrol base as a significantly larger Taliban force oh, hit RPG the darkness. Realising the oh, outpost was under yeah. attack, Sergeant Pun grabbed a down. nearby radio and informed his platoon commander of the unfolding situation before turning his attention onto the enemy. Hmm. As soon as I knew they were Taliban, I thought I was going to die. But as soon as I started firing, that feeling oh. went away. I knew I had to do something before they killed me mm. and my three comrades. I thought, before they kill me, I have mm. to kill some of them. Picking up his SAAT, I'll the Gurkha fired off a rifle grenade at the attacking enemy, prior to detaching a nearby general purpose machine gun from its tripod and returning fire on the advancing Taliban fighters, who were moving I forward in three directions. Mm. Within minutes, however, he had spent all his machine gun ammunition, and so resorted to using a mix of grenades to disrupt the attack, including six phosphorus, six fragmentation, and four rifle grenades. Once these two had become expended, he picked up his SAAT again, and, moving from position to position, he continued to engage the enemy, some of whom managed to break through his line of sight and reach the compound. Looking for a way to get onto the roof, some of the insurgents began scaling up the building's mud walls, with one fighter reaching the top first and proceeding to rush the Gurkha. Training his SAAT onto the enemy fighter, Sergeant Pun shot and killed the insurgent, seconds before experiencing a weapon malfunction just as another Taliban fighter appeared on the roof. Ditching his rifle, the sergeant grabbed the nearby GPMG tripod and held it at the second insurgent, knocking him unconscious. Moments after, mm. Sergeant Pun heard several more of the enemy oh, attempting to climb up to the roof, who he pushed back by dropping a sandbag onto one and forcing the others to retreat when a claymore mine detonated. Eventually, the after 17 working. minutes of heavy fighting, the enemy attacker collapsed and what was left of the Taliban force withdrew back in the direction they had come from. Mm. A short while later, British reinforcements well, arrived at the patrol with. base to strengthen its defences where they found an exhausted Sergeant Diprasad Pun still on the roof. Sergeant Pun later stated, I thought there might have been around 20 to 30 Taliban fighters involved in the attack, but later locals told me it was probably around 15. I know I'm very lucky to be alive. I didn't think the attack would ever end, and I nearly collapsed when it was over. I did what I was trained to do. There wasn't any choice but to fight. But to fight. Sergeant fired 250 rounds, 180, use 17 grades, claim all mines, sandbags. But this is the person who is using so much equipment. He is using 3 comrades, 4 people. Press it. Single handedly holding the patrol base. Single handedly. Conspicuous. Gallantry cross. The second highest military. British armed forces. 
Better to die than to be covered. Royal Guard का rifle motto. Okay. भाई कमाल किया भाई उस बंदे ने 18 से 20 मिनट की फाइट में अकेले अपने कंपाउंड को नहीं करने दिया कैप्चर और इसी वजह से खास का इतना नाम है ओके इधर वो हमने क्या कहा था कि वो मौत से डरता नहीं है या फिर वो गोरखा है उनके किस तरह से या एक मोर लाइंस थी वो तो स्पेशल थी और ये बेटर टू डाई देन टू बी अ कावर्ड और सिंगल हैंडेडली और सोल्जर्स करते भी यही है कि जब उनको पता होता है कि यार बस दिस इज द पॉइंट कि शायद आज हम आर हो जाएं या पार हो जाएं तो वो फिर दिलेरी हंड्रेड परसेंट अपना पुट करते हैं और इसी तरह यार ये तालिबान के जिस तरह ऑपरेशन उधर हुई है या पाकिस्तान में भी हमारे जवानों ने भी तालिबानों के साथ इसी तरह फाइट किया और बहुत सारे शहीद भी हैं उसमें लेकिन जब बात आती है डिफेंड करने अपने नेशन को या अपनी उसको जो भी आपको टास्क मिला होता है तो फिर सोल्जर दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट स्टोरी वी हर्ड फ्राम ब्रिटिश रॉयल गोरखा जो यहाँ पर ऑपरेशन वरना हमने इतनी कभी इनकी ब्रिटिश रॉयल गोरखा की स्टोरी नहीं सुनी क्योंकि उनके ऑपरेशन कहीं वहाँ पर होते हैं इन कंट्रीज़ में नहीं होते तो लेकिन हेड्स ऑफ इस बंदे के लिए भाई दीपा दीप प्रसाद तो इनके लिए हेड्स ऑफ तो एक ये एक मोटिवेशन भी वीडियो था सब के लिए रियल लाइफ में एक प्राउड मोमेंट है सारे निपाल के जितने भी रिक्रूट वहाँ से होके निपाल से डेफिनेटली और आइडेंटिटी है निपाल की गोरखा स्टो थम्स अप फिर आज के लिए इतना ही फिर मिलेंगे आप आप नई एक स्टोरी के साथ टेक केयर एंड लाल